In this lesson, you're going to learn what is rational function. A rational function is denoted by f of x is equal to p of x all over q of x. Wherein p of x and q of x are polynomials and q of x must not be equal to 0. Okay. Bakit hindi pwede maging equal k0 si q of x? Kasi mag, pag magkakaroon tayo ng 0 denominator, magiging undefined na siya. Let's say, we have x plus 1 over 0. Ayan. Yung numerator natin, walang problema. Polynomial siya. Pero sa ating denominator, 0 siya. Alam natin na bawal tayong mag-divide ng 0. So, hindi na siya ngayon magiging pasok sa ating condition. Kuha? So, kapag mayroon tayong x squared plus 3x plus 2 over 0, rational expression, or rational function, hindi din. This is undefined. Undefined. In this rational function. What if we have x raised to 1 half plus 3 over x squared? Rational function? O, sabi natin, polynomial function dapat siya. Although, hindi to zero ang denominator, pero ang numerator, meron siyang fractional exponent. So, hindi din natin siya masasolve. So, hindi din siya rational function. So, dapat pasok yung condition natin sa polynomial function. Kaya ni-recall natin sa previous lesson, kapag di pa napapanood, punta lang sa uh, what is polynomial function. Then, Condition natin dito, q of x must not be equal to 0. So let's say we have x squared plus 4 over x plus 3. Is it a rational function? Yeah, pasok na siya ngayon sa condition natin. Next, x plus 1 over x plus 3. Rational function? Yes. So, ganyan ang rational function. Tandaan lang na ang denominator natin must not be equal to 0. And now, let's try to solve some application of rational functions. Let's say we have, uh, suppose that c of t is equal to 5t all over t squared plus 1 in milligram per milliliter. Represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream three hours after the drug was administered. Construct a table of values for C of T for T is equal to 1, 2, 5, 10. Round off answers to the three, uh, to three decimal places and graph. So, mag-represent the tiny table of values. Gamit ang ating time na 1, 2, 5, 10. So, gawa tayo ng table of values natin. So, ayan, table of values natin. Alam natin ito si X and si Y. Pero may given tayo na time, which is considered as the T. O, siya si X natin. Ang T natin ay 1, 2, 5, 10. Hanapin natin si C of T. Ayon dun sa ating question. So, substitute natin ngayon. So, C of T is equal to yung rational function natin, 5T all over T squared plus 1. Ayan. So, i-substitute lang natin gamit yung mga hours natin sa value ni T. So, if I have C1, 1, one hour, so that is 5 times 1 all over 1 square plus 1. 
And simplify natin. 5 times 1, 5 over 1 square, 1 plus 1. That is 5 over 2. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So, sa so table of value natin, nilalagyan natin dito si 2.5. Next, paano pag meron tayong C of 2? So, C of 2, sabasit lang natin, 5 times 2 all over 2 square plus 1. 5 times 2, that is 10 all over 2 square, 4 plus 1. So, 10 all over 4 plus 1, 5. 10 divided by 5, 2. So, ang C of 2 natin ay 2. Next, 5 tayo. C of 5 is equal to 5 times 5 all over 5 squared plus 1. 5 times 5. That is 25 all over 5 square, 25 plus 1. Five, 25 all over 25 plus 1, 26. Uh, divide natin ngayon. 25 divided by 26, 3 decimal places. So this is 0 0.962. Any value natin. So, lagi natin 0 0.962. And then, last, 10, C of 10 is equal to 10 times 10 all over T square, 10 square plus 1. 10 times 10, 10 times 10, 100 all over 10 square, 100 plus 1. So, this is now 100 over 100, 101. Divide natin, 100 divided by 101. 0 0.990. So, ayan siya. Kung paano natin siya, nalagay sa ating table of values. 0 0.990. And graph. I graph daw natin. So, i-graph natin siya. Erase natin to para makita natin yung graph. Ito din, substitute lang natin. So, erase ko na. Erase natin. So, dapat talaga, uh, marunong kung paano mag-evaluate, marunong kung paano mag-times and divide, para hindi mahirapan. At para may confidence ko na mag -song. So, ayan. So, i-graph natin. Siyempre, meron tayong x and y axis. Okay, ayan. Okay, ayan. tayo. Ating graph. So, this is our x axis. So, x axis natin to. Let's say, ang x axis natin, ay equal kay T. So, in-name natin siya as T. Then, si y-axis natin, name as C of T. Ayan. Then, 1, 2, up to 10. So, extend natin siya para umapot tayo sa 10. Yung si T natin. Dito na lang natin lagi si T. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Sakto. Then, ang y natin, or c of t is, lagyan natin dito, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kapag meron tayong 1 hour, sa so x natin, 2.5. Flat natin si 2.5. Gitna ni 2, tsaka ni 3. Ayan siya. Next, kapag meron tayo 2, punta siya kayo sa 2. So, ito si 2. 
Kapag meron tayong 5, 9.62. 5, then 0 point bago mag 1. Bago dito sa 1. Ito siya. Kapag meron tayong 10, bago din mag 1. So, ayan ngayon yung ating points. Then, go connect na natin. So, start tayo sa 0 kasi kapag di siya nag-take, o 0 hour tayo, wala pa siyang time na take Going sa ating first point. Ayan. Then, sa second point. Then, sa third point. And, papunta kay sa last point. So, ayan yung magiging graph ng ating uh, rational function dito sa given na ito. Parang, parang doubtful ako dito sa value natin dito. So, dapat pababa siya ng pababa pa dito. So, i-check na natin sa 10. So, sa C of 10, that is 5 times 10 over 10 square plus 1. So, 50 over 101. So, pala dapat. So, 50 over 101. 50 divided by 1 of 1. So, ito dapat ay... 0.46. So, pwede nyo i-check sa calculator. 0.496. So, mas mababa pa sa between ng 0 at 1. Mas mababa pa sa 0.5. So, dito siya. So, dapat pababa. So, hindi siya pa. Okay. So, pababa yan ang pababa. Habang mas pa yung T hours natin ay papalaki na papalaki. So, ayan. Sorry for that. No? At least natama natin. Kaya maganda din na talagang i-check natin yung graph. So, thank you for watching si Yung Pablo at yung application natin. Sana naitindihan ninyo at magamit ninyo sa home study natin sa blended learning.